I must say, I have cooked some incredible steaks. And I have already declared the queen of all meats. And today is the day that I crown the king. This is the king of all steaks. And I'm going to show you how to butcher it. Check it out. The king of all steaks comes from the export rib, which is basically the whole ribeye loin. I got this one from Sterling Silver Premium Meats. And if you are wondering, this is choice grade. After removing it from the packaging, I split it in half. One part, I'm going to be using it on a future cook as a prime rib. As you can see, even though this is choice grade, it has a good amount of intramuscular fat. And for today, we're gonna be using the cap out of the ribeye roast. To remove the cap from the eye is quite simple. Just wiggle your finger around until it loosens it up from the eye. Once you feel that it's no longer loosening it up, just use your knife to remove it. Check it out. Now that it has been removed, we are left with this. In a very near future video, you're gonna be seeing me cook cowgirl steaks, and it's gonna come out from this piece. But now getting back to our cap. In order for it to be considered a king of steak, it is important to remove all the silver skin and additional fat. Once it has all been removed, we are left with this beautiful piece of meat. To cut out the king of steaks, I like to do it three fingers thick. For me, that's the perfect thickness. And then all there's left to do is assemble it. And here's how. To secure the steak, I like to tie it up with some butcher's twine. And there we have it, the king of all steaks, also known as cap steak. Now that we have this beautiful steak ready, it is time to season. I'm seasoning it with salt and freshly ground black pepper. To ensure that I keep the correct temperature, I am using my wireless thermometer. This thermometer does not take temperature from the tip, but a little bit farther apart. So if you have the same, be sure to insert it all the way through. But now that we have these beautiful steak ready, it is time to cook them. I am cooking both of them until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'm searing them off. So let's do it! Alright guys, we have our beautiful steak here. Are you ready, Angel? I'm ready. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. We're hungry, <laughs> man. It is dinner time for us and we are ready to try. You know what this steak is called? Yeah. What is it? Ribeye cap. Ribeye cap? How do you know? I had a teacher that he taught me, you know, a little thing. Really? Here and there. What's his name? 
I forgot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he must be a good teacher. Yeah, he's alright. <laughs> he's alright. <laughs> wow, he's alright. He's all right. <laughs> anyway, are you ready to try it? I'm ready. Alright, enough talking. Let's try it. Alright, Angel. Here, Angel. Can I just grab from wherever? Yeah, grab from whatever. They're all the same? No They're all the same. There's no experiment. We're just okay. determining um, if this is the king of all steaks. Go for it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Okay. That's that's really good. It is amazing. Oh boy. I know a lot of people are gonna say it is not worth doing that to the ribeye because of the eye of the ribeye, and then you have the cap of the ribeye, which is the best part of the ribeye. Mm. But you okay? <laughs> is it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> now let's get this very, very clear. This is a cut. Obviously, it is not Japanese Wagyu A5, which is a grade, just like picanha. Picanha is a cut. This is also a cut. For me, this is the king of all steaks and the best part of the cow after the queen. Respect mm. the queen. Respect the queen. We are always like queen before we like kings. <laughs> Agree? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm not a. I'm not a lover of kings. You know. <laughs> you don't like kings. No. This kind of, this this king is kind of good. This is, I'll eat this king. You <laughs> anyway, guys, this is the ribeye cap for me for king of steaks. King of steaks. King of steaks. Yes, I don't think there's any other cut in the cow that will make mm. anything better than this one. Now I love to bring this to the comment section so you guys can tell me if you agree with me. I think they might say that a tomahawk steak is the king of steak, but a tomahawk steak is a ribeye. It is just a ribeye with a big long, big long, bone. long bone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This one is the best part of the tomahawk steak, right? So, to me, but you can't grab this one with your hand like this. <laughs> That's the you, only difference. You can't do caveman style. You can't be a caveman. You can. I agree. I agree. I love to know which steak for you guys is the king of steaks. Put it on the comments down below, everybody. For us, at least, king of steaks right here. Agree? Yes. Your Highness. Your Highness. <laughs> yes, Your Highness. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new, how you can cut your own ribeye cap yourself. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in any of the equipment I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. We out. You know this would be a really good one? What? Some rice. Some rice? Some Japanese rice. Some Japanese rice. That we learned from Hiro. That we learned from Hiro. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> mm. Mm. The ribeye cap needs to be cooked a little bit more than medium rare because of the texture. You know, if you cook it too rare, then the texture, I don't like it that much. Oh, this is a sushi rice, everybody. It needs kind of. I want all of that because you, you got the last one. <laughs> so this one is kind of sticky one. and it's hot. Sushi rice, everybody. This is a special kind of rice and I definitely recommend it. Learn it from my brother Hiro. Hero, shout out to you. How is it with the rice, Angel? Angel approved? Angel approved. Google approved. See you guys on the next one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Try this rice, everybody. It's good. Oh, yeah.